I mean, when you set a goal at the beginning of the season, and our, this basketball season is so long, and to be able to accomplish that goal, no matter what has happened and all the things that go wrong and all the mishaps, to be able to say that we got that goal that we set at the beginning of the season means the world. Well, and you guys have not been there, have you? No, we haven't. So that makes it even more memorable. Um, Rachel, talk a little bit about for you. I mean, you hadn't played basketball for two years. Was this one of those reasons why you came back? Yes, I mean, you're going to state. There's really no better feeling than winning sub-state. So coming back was definitely one of the reasons why to get to state. I mean, because you hadn't touched the basketball in two years. No, I've been going to like summer camps and open gyms, but I haven't played an indoor basketball game since freshman year. Um, Brittany, I saw you smile with about six no. seconds to go as you're dribbling out at the top of the key. Tell me about kind of what that feeling was at that moment. Just complete joy. I mean, that game was really, really tough. I mean, we had we were in major foul trouble there, and calls weren't going our ways. Um, but you know, that's that's what happens. Like they they call it March Madness for a reason because you never know what can happen in postseason. And so, to really push through all those difficulties and and know that we won feels amazing. You know, you and I had talked, I think on Twitter a couple years ago, when they split Class 4A into two divisions. You guys are in Division One, which is so ridiculously tough. Um, does it matter which division you're in, the fact that you're going to state? No, because like we talked about on Twitter two years ago, I didn't want it to be split because I want to play the best competition, so that way you can say that you're the best without anyone hating on you saying that you're not. So. Um, you guys took a loss with Kylie tonight. She got hurt. I don't know. Obviously, we don't know how long or what that is. But uh, talk about how you guys kind of had to regroup there. You had Abby Maxwell, Jaden Easter, and Lauren Rowland in foul trouble. How did you guys handle all that? We um, our, definitely our bench helped a lot. And Shelby Benjon came in, and she did what she does best. She dribbles the ball down the court. She's a threat, so we have to guard her. All right. Okay. I'd, like, I'd like to say that, like, go along with that with Rachel. I mean, it's a team effort, and everyone talks about that, but it doesn't really resonate until you're in these kind of situations when you need your bench. And, you know, regardless of the people that came out there, like, we have two sophomores that didn't come out on the court at all. Their names are Peyton Chavez and Jill Bergkamp, and they were on the bench cheering us on the whole time, and that means the world to us as well. And, you know, they're providing energy and momentum for us, and so every single person on our team matters, and that was evident tonight. Talk about after the game for the post-game pictures. Who were all those people? <laughs> 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 some of them are Kirsten's kids and family friends and some of them I don't even know. Yeah, cousins and random kids, but hey.